Prussia in the early 1900s went through two revolutions in the hopes of overthrowing what was then the Tsarist power. After this, it was replaced with the Bolshevik government or communist government. World War I had been going on for three years since the Bolshevik Revolution took place in 1917. After the war ended, Russia was in ruins, um, both economically and agriculturally. They had spent millions of their currency on ar army and things like that. And as a result, um, well, they didn't do that well, and millions and millions died. Millions of Russian sh soldiers died. Between 900,000 and 2.5 million Russians were killed. At least 1.5 million were wounded. There's wars. There's no boys. Nearly 4 million POWs were captured. This is more than Great Britain, France, and Germany combined. Economically, they were 8 trillion rubles in debt. And they had suffered so much infrastructural damage that there was no chance of them being brought back into good standing. So after all these harsh times, the war, the economic ruin, loss of people, um, people started to lose food and started going hungry. Kulaks, or the term for rich landlords um, had brought it upon them to make good profits selling food at an inflated cost. Um, they had been doing this throughout the war and as a result uh, they were making a lot of money while everyone else suffered. So prior to the war, farmers experienced drought every five to seven years, and as it would have it, um, they had a drought now of all times. Um, things got bad, and reports started to come in of people eating grass, dead animals, dirt, and um, some even resorted to eating people, so cannibal cannibalism. Uh, as it turned out, there was a black market for human flesh. Um, which is disgusting. The government tried to help by um, recommending people dig up the bones of dead animals and grinding it into a little powder to make into bread. And they claimed that it had 25% more nutritional value than rye bread. That's really freaky. And I'm sure they did it. But, well they did. And you know, I can tell you is because uh, they started um, contracting diseases faster, and so more people died. In July 1921, um, officials and important people in Russia started sending out letters, um, cries for plea, please help us, we are suffering from this terrible famine. Uh, different states, uh, churches, and other charitable organizations started to reply and send aid. Uh, and as one might guess, um, America gave the largest amount of aid. So, in the summer of 1922, the American Relief Administration ran by uh, Hoover um, fed 10 million people and another 2 million in Ukraine. Um, they also supplied medical attention and clothing. They also set up a number of food pantries, uh, sponsored bakeries so they could make more food, and food pantries. So this could have been avoided with a number of ways, particularly um, by way of government. the government. So one thing that couldn't have been altered at all was the devastation and damage they sustained through World War One, 
and the amount of people that were lost and killed. Um, so basically, they were kind of in a bad place when this all started. Also, the fact that there was a brand new government being um, starting, brand new, uh, they didn't really have any big organizations or government-run facilities that could help out the people that were starving. Um, but also, one thing that the Soviet government could have done to not do this was to not block aid that was coming in from America. Um, Amer the ARA tried to send aid, at one and they did, but um, sometimes the government would interfere with the delivery of such aid. So they could have not done that, and then it would have gone there faster. So after everything took place, after all the aid that went through by the ARA, um, all the help that came from other countries, um, things actually turned out well. Uh, the drought had ceased and water started flowing from the sky. Um, the seeds that the ARA supplied farmers started to grow and um, the Bolsheviks stopped harassing the ARA. So, Albeit, this is a very bad famine. Um, millions and millions of people died. Uh, they survived. And nothing came bad out of it. No civil war. No revolution, because that sort of escalated the whole issue. Um, so, you know. Hmm. Still popcorn.